All right, we good. Gone. Shalom, shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS Raleigh, GMS North Carolina, came back with a Lord's Will and Edifying Lesson. You know, it's our uh, Sunday uh, uh, collaboration, you know, mm-hmm. through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Before we go any further, involve praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Bahashem. Rakak Wadash. Rakak the Apostles, the great most are teaching us to represent truth, according to Barmore Well. And peace and blessings to the like the nation of Israel. I'm their brother Isaac. I'm the brother Naquam. And today, through the spirit and power of the Alba Shemal and Shai, we're going to get to Lord's willing and and listen on just as Yahweh Shai left, is how he's going to return. You know, he left, you know, in the cloud, you know, as we're going to read here in Acts, you know, he's going to return with the clouds of heaven. You know, we're going to get with, we're going to get some understanding of what the clouds of heaven are. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to get some understanding of how our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to uh, make his grand appearance, you know, his second, his second grand appearance. You see, mm-hmm. you got it, brother. This is uh, Acts chapter one, verse nine. And when he had spoken these things, while they yet beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received them out of their sight. That's right. So, this is just as, this is after Yahweh Shai raised from the dead, you know, the Heavenly Father raised uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, after the third day from the grave, you know, and he spent 40 days and 40 nights with his disciples, you see, and after he spent, you know, this time with his disciples, you know, this is the very ending, you know, he told them that they will receive power, you know, that, you know, the kingdom of heaven is not yet, but, you know, you know, he sends them out on a mission, you know, you're going to receive power, you're going to be witnesses for me, you're going to do, you know, mighty works, you know, you're going to preach the word, you're going to spread, you know, the news of my return, right? Yo. And as he was speaking to them, a cloud received them out of his sight. You know, we're going to keep reading down, but we're going to get a precept after this, you know, going into what that cloud is. Go mm-hmm. ahead, brother. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. That's right. So a cloud took him up into heaven, right? Well, they were looking. They were looking at him, and, and, and he looked towards the heavens, and the cloud took him away. Mm-hmm. Right, and behold, two men appeared. Right, in white apparel. These two men that appeared are angels. You know, these two uh, men who appeared were, were were angels. Right, in white apparel. Right. Go ahead, brother. Yep. Verse eleven, which also said, "Ye men of Galilee." While stand ye gazed up into heaven, this same Yahweh Shah, which is taken up into, for, from you into heaven, shall come, shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go up into heaven. That's right. So the angels are telling them, you know, just as you saw Yahweh Shah leave, you know, in a cloud, you know, into heaven, well, he's going to come from heaven with the cloud, you know? And, you know, the question is, do you really, do you believe that Yahweh Shah is going to come back, you know, in those clouds, which we're about to get, you know, are yep. the chariots of Israel, you know, are the so-called, you know, uh, unidentifiable, unidentifiable, uh, flying, unidentified flying objects, the so-called UFOs or the you know, the IFOs, what they call them, uh, UFOs, what they call them now? Uh, what is it, uh, what is it, a UFA, Unidentified Phenomenon, or something like that? Yeah, 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 that's what it is. You know, Unidentified uh, Flying Phenomenon, but those things are unidentified, you know, to the uninitiated. You know, those whom the al Shema was shy has, you know, uh, blessed with his Holy Spirit to understand, you know, the message that was written here in the Holy Scriptures for us to have in these last days. We know exactly, you know, what those vehicles are. 
you know, we understand all things that have been revealed via the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. <laughs> and yep. how the Lord is going to return is one of those things. You got it, brother. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms 104, verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. That's right. Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who who does this? Yahweh Shema Shah, the Heavenly Father, created these, you know, spiritual vehicles yep. uh, for the angels to, you know, to navigate in, right? Yep. To, to be an authority, a power, you know, a, a, a presence, you know, down here upon the earth of his, you know, a part of his glory. You yep. know, so these clouds, you know, that took up Yahweh Shai, well, that's how Yahweh Shai is coming. He's coming back with the clouds, you know, of heaven, right? He's coming back with great power and glory and might and strength when he comes back to conquer you know, the nations, and to save his elect, and that's what we are patiently waiting for, you know, that is the, you know, the patient and the faith of the saints, for Yahweh Shah to come back with that power, you know, and give that power to those who believe on him, starting with the 144,000, the men, the prophets, you see, the government body of the nation of Israel. That's right. I got a quick one for you. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms 68 and 17. The chariots of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Mount Sinai in the holy place. That's right. So when Yahweh Shai makes his second return with the angels, right, which are the chariots, what we just read are, you know, synonymous with clouds in the holy scriptures. Yep. Be an uh, innumerable amount of angels are going to be with Yahweh Shai when he makes his second return. Yep. You know that that's what we're that's what we're going to witness. You know that's why the scriptures say that every eye shall see him. We're we're about to get that. You know yep. because all the angels you know are going to be there with Yahweh Shai as he comes back. You know on the biggest uh, spaceship of of them all, the Father ship. Right. Yep. You got it. Yep. This is Revelation one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Yep. So Yahweh Shai, he's coming back with the clouds. He's coming. He's coming with clouds. He's coming with the chariots of Israel. He's coming back. You know, on the fire ship, he's coming back with the angels. You know, who are going to be with him? The twenty thousand thousands of angels, mm -hmm. right? And everyone's going to see Yahweh Shai when he makes his second return, right? The whole earth is going to be in shock and awe, you know? It, it's going to be no mistake in that the Heavenly Father has sent back Yahweh Shai, you see? And, you know, brothers always go into, you're going to have the fathership, and then you're going to have all the other angels, and that's every eye seeing him. You know, you might not see the fathership, but you're going to see the invasion of so-called UFOs, you know, coming down upon the planet Earth. You yep. see, and it's that even they which pierced him, because there's a thing in the Holy Bible that speaks of reincarnation. Mm -hmm. Those that pierced Yahweh Shai, you know, those individuals that pierced him while he was on the cross, right, are back on the Earth today. You yep. see? You yep. got it. Yep. And it reads, it says, And all kindreds of the Earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. Yeah, they're going to well. They're going to cry. You know, they're going to mourn because Yahweh Shai is here, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, you know. And what is he coming back to do uh, when he returns? Can you uh, get that Revelation 19? Mm hmm. And you can just start at verse 11. Alrighty. This is the book of Revelation 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. Right, and when you read Second Acts of this thirteenth chapter, right, this is a very similar uh, vision, right, of Yahweh Shai, you know, coming back, you know, starting from the east, you know, ending over here on the western hemisphere to to save his elect, you know, he's gonna he's gonna clean up those armies, he's gonna wipe them out, yep, you know. 
so he saw heaven open, you know, Yahweh Shah is coming back from the spiritual world, you know, and from the heavens, right? <laughs> and behold, a white horse, white, white represents purity and horse represents power. So pure power mm -hmm. is coming to the planet Earth. You yep. got it? It says, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doeth judge and make war. Yeah, so Yahweh Shai, you know, that's one of his titles, faithful and true, you know, as the word. He is the word of God, and we understand that the word, you know, what the, uh, the Lord Ezra said, you know, write these things down because they are faithful and true. You know, yep. the word, Yahweh Shai, he is faithful and true, you know. He was true to his sayings that he was going to come back with, with the troops to come and deliver his prisoners of war. Mm -hmm. You know, those people, his people that would be in the, in, the, in the land of their captivity in the last days. And when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming back in righteousness to judge and to make war with the planet Earth. Right. You got it. Yep. Verse 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. That's right. So this is how we know this is speaking about Yahweh Shai. His eyes were as a flame of fire. You see? That, that's the indicator. But this is speaking about the Lord. You know? In his, uh, on his head were many crowns. You know, uh, many crowns representing, you know, he's going to take down the other nations and the authority and might that they have. He's going to now, it's going to be his, right? The things that they have dominion over, now that dominion belongs to Yahweh Shai. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Yep. It says, and he had a name written that no man knew but himself. And that's right. You know, he had an order or a rank that only he could fulfill. You know, it was given to him of the Heavenly Father to fulfill these things. Go ahead. Verse 13. And he was clothed with a vessel dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of the Lord. That's right. Uh, so Yahweh Shai, you know, and that's not literal, but that's, you know, symbolic to all, you know, or that's illustrating of all the death that's going to follow Yahweh Shai as he returns, as he's coming and bring heavy judgment upon the world. You know, you can read about that in Isaiah the 13th chapter. I'm yep. sorry, Isaiah 63. Yep. Well, you know, Isaiah 63, you know. Isaiah 19, how the Lord is going to ride upon a swift cloud, mm -hmm. right? And the idols of Egypt shall be shaken at his presence. You see? You got it. Yep. Verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. And this right here, speaking of the angels that will come with Yahweh Shai, you know, to fight in this, you know, this next war. And that's why you read about Michael and his angels fall against a dragon. You know, Esau, Edom, and their angels. Yep. You know, and, and there was found no more place for him in heaven. They're going to be fighting in 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 the, in the in the sky. You know, on the in the second return of the Lord, and Esau, Edom is going to be taken out. He's going to be destroyed. His fire jets, you know, are going to be you know wiped out very easily. You know, scriptures talk about the heavenly. Uh, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father is going to send Yahweh Shai back with so much power that it's going to, you know, it's going to be nothing for him to take down these nations. Yep. And it reads on, um, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. That's right. So the armies, right? The armies which are that were that were in heaven that follow upon white horses. So, you know, a white and clean. You know that 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 they're gonna, they're gonna have that power. You see, you know they're gonna have a, a pure power following Yahweh Shai and those angels, which those are their spiritual vehicles, right? Mm -hmm. They're they're they're. <laughs> you know, what I mean, that's not a light thing. That's that's a lot of power coming to the planet Earth. Yep. See, and that's that's the Heavenly Father's army. That's the Lord of Hosts, the Lord of Armies, right? That's that's His army coming to visit. The planet Earth, and to judge the nations, but also, you know, as he judges the nations, he's going to bring salvation onto the remnant. You see, the remnant of his people, and that's what we're patiently waiting for yet for Yahweh Shema Shai to bring salvation onto the remnant. You got it, brother. Yep. 
verse 15. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that was it. Okay, yeah, that was it. That was it, yep. You want yeah, that Matthew? We'll get... Yeah, we'll close out on Matthews. Alrighty, let's see. You start uh, verse 30, and then uh, yeah. 30 and 31 will close out. This is Matthew 24 and 30. Then shall appear the son of the son of man in heaven, and then all... And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great and great glory. That's right. It's gonna appear that sign, how it shall, you know, he's gonna he's gonna pop on the scene, you know, when when men least expect it. He's gonna catch the kings of the earth, you know, off guard. They're gonna be in the midst of their own war, their own skirmishes, you know. A lot of confusion is going to be going on the earth, and whoa, Yahweh Shai is going to appear. And he's going to appear with so much power that the inhabitants of the earth are going to be, like, in fear. Like, they're going to, like, this this is the Son of God. You know, there's going to be no mistaken. They're going to cry. They're going to wail. They're going to, they're going to be in great fear at the power that has just appeared upon the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing they have ever seen he's you know um i won't get this priest up you know because another another version tells you he's coming back in in the glory of his father you know i wouldn't sh let me see if i can uh real quick i'll read it real quick if i can find it real quick this is a uh, mark 13 and Yep, oh, well, you know, Mark chapter 8, verse 38, it says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, right? That's why we can't be ashamed of Yahweh Shai. That's why we have to boldly uh, profess the things that Yahweh Shai is coming to do, mm -hmm. right? And of him, of that man that is ashamed, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, Right when he comes in the glory of his father with the holy angels, you mm. see, mm -mm -mm. So coming back in the glory of his father, <laughs> mm. you know, the heavenly father ain't gonna send Yahweh Shai lacking, you know, right? It, it's just a, a you know, a, a immense amount of power is coming to the earth, and Yahweh Shai has been given the authority to judge, you know, for that final judgment, that second death. You know, it's been given to him of the Father. And, and like we just read, he's coming back with the angels in those clouds of heaven. You got it, brother. Yep. This is Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with the sound of, with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. That's right. So the elect, you know, which is which is the nation of Israel, you know, the elect is the nation of Israel, you know, not not all nations, right? Um, this is um Isaiah just to prove that. This is Isaiah sixty five, and verse four. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse. I was trying to say where I wanted to start. Uh -oh. Um. Start at verse nine. It says, okay, "And on. I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains." Right. So a seed, you know, a remnant, you know, of the seed of Jacob and out of Judah. It says, "And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and inherit, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains." Right. And my elect shall inherit it. And my servant shall dwell there. So my elect, you know, who who is out of the seed of Jacob, <laughs> yep. out, out of the seed of Judah, is going to inherit the, the, the promised land. You see? What was the other one? Isaiah 45 and 4? I think that was the one I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Israel, yep. mine elect. Yep. Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, in Israel, my elect, mm -hmm. I have called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me, right? Mm -hmm. So, 
Yahweh by Shema was shine, you know, it's telling you his elect is his elect that's going to inherit the promised land flowing with milk and honey, you know, who 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 the Lord's coming back to save is the nation of Israel, you know, and the angels are gonna be given charge to come and save us from the four corners of the earth where we've been scattered, and he's gonna bring us back into that into that land, you know, that was the prophecy of Yahweh Shai, you know, that should come out, uh, that, sh that shall come, I got it real quick, uh, Matthew 2 and 6, yep. and now Bethlehem in the land of Judea, yep. or Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. So Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. will be the governor, he will be the king of kings, you know, as we will be a nation of kings, mm -hmm. right? He would be the Lord of Lords, you know, as we're going to be lords over you heathens, you see, and rule over you with the rod of iron, with the power, you know, he, him that overcometh and keep my works unto the end, to him will I give power, power over, over the, the nations. nations. Yep. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming back to, you know, just as he's left, you know, he's coming back with, you know, with power and glory and he's coming to set up a, a kingdom. You know, we shall never uh, be destroyed. You see, um, was there any more in that Matthew twenty-four? Oh no, that was it on that. Gone. You know, so he's coming back to save his elect from the four winds, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up, and Yahweh Shai is going to be king over all the earth, and he's going to set up his his government body. You know, his his um representatives, his counselors. You know, just as any king would, he's not going to rule by himself. We're going to be joint heirs with him. Lord's going to be part of that number. So, you know, with that, you know, any closing statements, bro? Hey, no, you said it all, bro. And so, you know, Lord's going to set some of other fine. We're going to close out, give him all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Bahashim. Rakakwadash. The Apostle was a great Muslim for teaching us the Lord sent troops born to the Bible and rule well in peace and blessings so afflicted the nation of Israel. Next time we say Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Shalom.